here to talk about the new iTunes 11.1 for the Mac desktop, uh, which they released um, a couple days before they released iOS 7, which just came out yesterday. And uh, if you look in this uh, document right here, um, one of the biggest changes, of course, is iTunes radio service. Uh, some changes with uh, Genus Shuffle, podcast stations, and sync with iOS 7. Um, but we're just really going to look at the iTunes radio feature. And uh, we're going to bring it over here. Now, when you uh, now, for one thing, to get a hold of this right now, you can only download it from the Apple's website. Uh, download it, install it that way. It, they don't seem to have it in the Mac App Store yet. I hope they, they are going to get it soon just so people can find it easier than uh, trying to find it on the web or something. So once you download and install it, and you're gonna go to your music, and then they added a radio tab um, where you get the iTunes radio service. Now they still have the internet radio station still there um, if you wanna use it. Um, I'm kind of wondering if they may take it out eventually, but we'll see. Now, I also want to note that this, the free version, uh, what comes with um, iOS 7 and, and the Mac for the iTunes 11.1, uh, the free service it does have ads. Um, you get one audio ad every 15 minutes, I believe, and a video ad every hour. Now, I don't think I've used it long enough to get into the ads yet, or maybe they didn't implement it fully yet. Um, so... You can get it ad-free if you have the iTunes Match service, which is a nice added um, bonus, which I believe is uh, $20, $25 a year, I believe, uh, from the top of my head, I believe. That's what it is. Now, once you install it, uh, or you go to Music, and then to the Radio tab, obviously. Um, now, by default, you'll see a row of radio stations at the very top. You can scroll through. It'll give you just the... Uh, the basic stations and you can click on them to preview it to see if that's what you want which I'm not going to do due to copyright infringement now down here are some of the radio stations that I saved that I'm going to uh, that I listen to and you can also uh, go to my stations and click the plus tab if you want to uh, look for other radio stations and by default they put some down here just like this and you can click on one of them and it breaks it down even further subcategories and you can preview each one and then obviously add it if you would like in fact uh, let's put alternate rock on there just like so and i uh, didn't mean to do that and uh, obviously you can delete it as well and you can also find it uh, different ways. Uh, if you're looking for a particular artist, uh, gene, or song, and in fact, we're going to put in uh, Van Halen, one of my favorite. And now it may not find the individual song, but it will find the radio station for you. And we got several listed here uh, Jump Radio, uh, which has Van Halen and more, and the same thing with Van Halen Radio. And uh, so you can add uh, things that way. So this is going to be, oh, uh, I forgot to mention too. And uh, let's see if we can uh, get it on here. And we're just going to pause it right here. Now, also while you're playing through your um, favorite channel, um, also in the window here, you can, if you'd like to, uh, a song that you really like, you can actually pay for it, and it says it's a a, a dollar twenty nine uh, if you want to buy that song, and then it obviously downloads it to your uh, music uh, iTunes music uh, albums right there, and uh, obviously any other songs that you listen to on the internet radio, you can choose for purchase as well. So if you um, it starts another song, you can go back in the history and then uh, select what other song you'd like to purchase. Um, also, with the iTunes radio, um, the more you use it, um, the more it knows the type of music you like. Um, and so it even makes suggestions of similar music. Now, I it doesn't seem to go by what you have in 
the music that you already bought from iTunes, um, as far as I know. So it would be nice um, to be able to choose music alternatively what you already have bought and paid for. Um, so hopefully they're going Im- to implement that in the future. So uh, go ahead and try uh, iTunes Radio 11.1 with the new iTunes Radio service. Uh, very nice. <laughs> 